And welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. Last time we made it from 3-2, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, 3-3 three, three, to 3-6, which is over there to the left. So this time we're going to start 3-7, which isn't exactly a level I've been looking forward to, because this level tends to give me a lot of problems, especially when trying to do everything in one run. Uh, my advice would be to try to get a Tanuki t tail, Tanuki leaf, what am I trying to say? Uh, the Tanuki power-up. Uh, trying to get that before coming here, and you can get one in 3-1 really easily. So definitely consider that, because this level is not fun otherwise, because... You have a lot to worry about with this level. Uh, you block with a mushroom, a 1-up to be precise. Fire Flower won't do us too much good, but uh, I'll take it. So we've got these little, these little switchboards, I think is what they're called. Switchboard Falls. That's the name of the level, so these are switchboards. They go the direction you're standing. This is a returning mechanic from Super Mario 3D Land, except in that game you didn't have to worry about four people trying to hit the exact same switches. So that is a little bit different. In fact, this level is not fun with four people, because you have to actually, like, coordinate. And that's not the easiest thing to do sometimes, so... Down we go. Uh, keep an eye out, because you actually want to jump up here. Well, we get extra time, that's not really helpful, but... If you go down this warp pipe, we end up in this secret area, where... Uh, just kind of fall in the direction of the coins. Uh, Peach can float. Keep that in mind, so if you need to correct yourself at any point, you can flip one time in order to line yourself up better. I didn't bother because the green star is the only thing that, that really matters. But yeah, that's actually only the first, uh, the only the first green power star, which is a little bit worrisome. Momentum is a thing, so keep that in mind. Uh, I don't actually want or need that. I would rather have a second different power rather than one of the same, but oh well. Drop down here. Okay, so go right, then jump, and crouch. You get a second star for your trouble. For your troubles. And this is... When the level gets really terrifying, <laughs> if you're playing with more people. Because, again, teamwork is the name of the game, and that's not particularly easy to pull off sometimes in this game. So, uh, to get the, I think, stamp, we need to actually go up here. Yeah, I usually just get hit there. Not really worth it. But this is the third power star, actually, the stamp is actually down here. So, we want to actually jump on this platform, if I'm not mistaken. And this should take us right to the stamp. Okay, so this is the end. I'm gonna try to get some momentum. It's a lot harder to actually get momentum with Princess Peach compared to the other characters because she does have the slowest running speed. But, we made it to the top of the flagpole, no problem. So that unlocks a stamp of one of the little bee enemies, the name of which I do not know because I have never really looked up what the name of the bee enemy is. So we got a mushroom house, but we're not going to use it because we still have a fire flower in our inventory, so that would just kind of kind of be a waste. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, with these slot machines, if you time it with the song itself. That actually helps. Apparently that advice was not right, or... Or... <laughs> um... I just was off timing, that could be the other answer, but I could've sworn there was some trick involving the music, but I have not actually looked that up since. 
Honestly, life grinding is really not a big deal in this game. You will have plenty of lives. No worries. So, once more Toad is tackling a boss. So one thing I do like in this game is that all of the fort stages are actually extremely varied. Uh, right off the bat we got a green star, but it's quickly scrolling off screen. So, uh, gotta get that one in a hurry. We got another cannon thing. <laughs> Remember how I said a Tanuki would ha help in the last level? Yeah, we finally have one. I actually keep losing sight of myself because I'm blending in. So we got, um... Got bullet bills with cat ears now. They home in, I think, a lot more aggressively. If I'm not mistaken. Or it's their effective- it's effectively this game's version of like the homing bullet bills in other games. I think sometimes they're red. Um, I think Yoshi's Island did that. Yeah, I wasn't getting out of that unscathed. Go through all those. But yeah, these levels are actually pretty cool. I, again, kind of lost sight of myself. Yeah, that's the problem when you have the blue character in this level. Oh look, it's Captain Toad. <laughs> Can you hurry it up there? Uh, okay, it's off scrolling. That is a relief because I didn't know it stopped scrolling. So I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what if I don't have enough time to get this? So just safety strats, I am going to use this because I don't want to die to this boss. So, new mechanic, we have, um, I think her name is Pom Pom, if I'm not mistaken, but she's basically female Boom Boom. Uh, she has, um, cloning powers. Just look at the one with the pink shuriken and jump on that one. The ones with the white or gray shurikens, I can't tell exactly what they're going for, uh, is not the real one. So, that was easy. <laughs> Again, the bosses in Mario games, in my opinion, have never been worthwhile. <laughs> or noteworthy, more like it. Um, Galaxy being kind of the exception, because Galaxy has good boss battles, but uh, most 3D Mario games do not. It's always scary going for the flagpole with Toad, because you never know if he'll quite make it. But we did. No problemo. And we rescued the third Sprixie Princess, so off to World 4. Yeah, it feels weird actually, because I've only played this game one time. So it's weird not seeing any Miiverse posts scrolling by the top of the screen. But again, also less to potentially edit out depending on, on what pops up in those posts. Double-edged sword. And with that, we're off to World 4. Or are we? So, we have our first B level. Uh, I think B is for boss, or just the second one actually, it's it, it's double purpose in this case. So, we are fighting a new enemy called the Histocrat. That doesn't sound fighting, does it? So, grab this. You want to be a cat for this. You do not want any other power up because cat kind of makes this fight a lot more manageable. Actually, no, I took it back. You know, a lot of times the castle fights in Mario games are anticlimactic, but a lot of the in-between fights end up being really good, ironically. So yes, this is Histocrat. He is a snake, and his gimmick is he will summon other snakes to, uh, air quote, attack you. 
but they just serve to make platforms so that you can actually attack him, so his strategy ends up actually hurting him, which is kind of the case in, with most of your enemies. If you are good, you can actually get two hits on him. Uh, I think. Can you? I could've sworn- no, I'm thinking of a different fight where there are actually two of them, where you can basically, I think, bounce from one to the other. So now we got a new mechanic, that snake is, does not have a plate, so we shouldn't jump on that one. Yeah, the plates do break, so you gotta be kinda fast, but this really doesn't pose too much of a threat. And our reward for our troubles is a green star, but logically, <laughs> we're gonna get the coins first before they despawn. And unlike the level A, uh, bad guys, I'm trying to figure out the word for these stages, um, yeah, the level A stages, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Uh, we have a flagpole to these. Not too much of a problem, but still kind of an interesting concept. Just throw in a boss after you fight the actual boss. It's rather creative. And with that... Now we can finally go to World 4 for real. So, I don't know if that should count as a level, I, th I think it should. Now World 4 is a weird level in terms of what kind of trope it's supposed to be. Because I'm not entirely sure what kind of trope it's supposed to be myself. Because we already had a desert. So what the heck is this? I don't know what the, what they're going for. It's kind of a canyon-y kind of river kind of feel. It's, it's not... Exactly. Oh, it's a weird concept because you already have a desert world. That's what I'm saying. Just making sure I haven't played this in such a long time that I just really want to be sure where stuff is. Infinite? No. <laughs> just one set of 10 coins, I would guess. Because some coin blocks have a ton of coins, like the one in the what was a pretty pause of panic, I want to say is the name of it. Back in World 3, it had like infinite coins, but you're on a time limit, so it sort of cancels out. But yeah, I can't guarantee I'm gonna get everything on this level first try because I, I'm pretty sure this level gives me a lot of trouble in general. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up if we use the cat. That was actually risky, I almost got hit there. Got a star. So you gotta sword the time it quickly. If you have four people, obviously this is trivial. But uh, without four people, we, uh, some strategy is needed. I'm actually really worried. We haven't gotten a single green star. So I don't know where the, the first one's in the first area, so I, I think I missed it. So this is an interesting little puzzle of sorts. Yeah, that was two, so I missed one. I'm gonna have to go back for that afterwards. I'll show where it is. Um, but that's actually not the one I usually miss, if I recall correctly. Uh, or is it? Because there's that green pipe over there near all the coins, so it's like, I thought that was where one of the green stars would be, so I'm a little bit confused. Because that's clearly not the normal intended pathway. I was trying to do the dash, but I couldn't. Couldn't fast enough. Okay, that's literally just for coins. whoop de doo Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm totally just taking the hit there. Uh... You know what? We have to replay this level anyway, so why am I trying to go for the top of the flagpole? <laughs> that was almost not worth it. Okay, we somehow cleared that. Uh -oh. 
Can we get one more level in before ending off, is what I'm wondering. We're doing a pretty solid rotation of the characters per video, because we're getting through about four stages every video. So it's rather ironic that, that we basically end up in the same place. That level is not going to be that doable. So, uh, I think for the rest of this video, we're just going to jump right back in and investigate where that last uh, green star is. So yeah, we're going to have two levels in a row with Peach, I guess, because... Technically, this is a replay, so it doesn't exactly count. But yeah, I legitimately don't remember where it is in this stage. I want to say it's down that passageway where the little uh, ants are coming out of, but I don't know. Where are these guys going? Down. So it's probably a loop. Yeah, you're gonna get gonna be going against the flow of traffic, so that's always fun. Or just flat out miss the attack, that works too. Yeah, regular jumps do not work, you have to cram pound. I wonder if these guys are infinite, now that I think about it. So yeah, can't actually progress further there, it seems. Hmm. Hello. This is just for ants. Just for ants, apparently. <laughs> Might as well run out of there before we get hit by stuff. Also, you can't ledge grab. That's really weird. Yeah, you can actually do a slightly higher jump if you jump immediately uh, from a ground pound. And I don't feel like it's actually that helpful. Actually, what's up here? Is that just... Okay, that's sort of like the intended path. I'm trying to find the not intended path here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really turned around. I do not remember where this one is, for whatever reason. Hmm. I think I'll keep looking and I'll cut back to when I find it, maybe? Or just keep searching for a little bit? Hmm. I have no idea where this could be. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not this level. I'm, I'm thinking of a different level, I think. There's the stamp. <laughs> I'm not making that cycle. So now we're back. Oh, it's up there. I think it's up there. <laughs> but we don't have the cat power up, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut back to when I do have the cat power up. So, let's see if this little theory is correct. Yep, that's where it is. So, I don't need to show this whole level again. So, we will then resume next time with 4-2. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Super Mario 3D World.